The trip was actually only an hour, so we're here. It's 1 a.m. And my flight isn't until, I think, a little after noon. So... So I'm finally past security. I passed security like 40 minutes ago, but I don't know what that ring is, but I couldn't actually enter to where the gates were because it's closed. So there's like a seating area right by security that I just sat at. It's about 2.15 right now. There's two VIP uh, rooms here that I have access to. The first one is right here. It's the Zappa Lounge, which I've as Zacapa. I've actually had Zacapa rum before. This one's supposed to be the nicer of the two. It opens at 4:30 a.m., so we still have a couple hours before this one's open. The other one is further down by gate like 14, and that one opens at 4 a.m., so half an hour earlier. Some McDonald's in here, another coffee spot. I'm just kind of looking at all the menus. I do have a hundred quetzales left, but it's not a big deal if I don't spend it. I'll just save it for the next time I'm here because I will be back. Let's go find the other lounge. Okay, this is the other one. So, yeah, on the other side of the airport. <laughs> Now I'm just gonna post up on some chairs. Some people being kind of loud right here, but I, I walked all the way down here, so I'm like, I don't wanna walk all the way back. I'm gonna try to sleep. All right, we made it. I literally slept on the little benches and bitch, it was so uncomfortable. Oh, this one's not near an outlet. It was so uncomfortable because the chairs had like bars, armrests between them. So I'll show you later, but girl, I got like an hour of sleep. So that's good. And they let me in early, so they don't have food at this one, uh, which is okay. I think the other one has food. They do have snackies, so I might cop some snacks. I have snacks though. So. Definitely gonna drink some coffee. Okay, the machine wasn't making the coffee with milk or sugar um, and I figured that was the case so I asked the lady and she opened it up and opened the milk dispenser part so now it is good, it's so good, I'm having a vanilla cappuccino, it's 4am, good motherfucking morning. I haven't had a good cup of coffee in like three days now because I went on that hike. In the second lounge, let's check it out. It's like 5.30, I think. This is like a legit restaurant. <laughs> Breakfast panini looks fire. Oh, 
cappuccino moment. It's like a heart. Okay, it's almost 10 a.m. and my flight boards right before noon, um, but they just sent me my uh, gate. It's gate 18, and so the other lounge is actually closer to my gate, so I might head that way soon, honestly. Um, actually, I might go now. Yeah, finish my water. Wow. I almost forgot. That was literally the longest immigration line I've ever had to be in. It took an hour. And bitch, then I got sent to secondary because I look different from my passport because I dyed my hair. And bitch, I was 16 when I took my passport picture. This man is like, you look pretty different. Like asking me a million questions. I'm like, yeah, because I was a fucking teenager in that photo. Like, He's like, so you grew up a little bit and then sent me to secondary. I was like, you motherfucker. Anyway, now I'm running. <laughs> Fuck, and I have to piss so bad and I'm so hungry and I'm so tired. <laughs> Pre-check is literally about to save my life right now. Also, I'm in terminal E and I need to get to C. So, mm -hmm. fun time. I had to put the backpack on, maybe we're in sport mode. Okay, I decided to walk instead of take the little tram because this lady, she can't help it, but she was moving so slow in front of me, got on the escalator before me and I missed the last tram. So I'm like, let me just walk. I'm so tired. <laughs> Good morning. <clears throat> I made it last night. And, um, Oh my gosh, the way I slept like a rock, like last night is just crazy. But anyway, I made it to V's house. I, it's so funny. I actually, in my Uber, it's not that funny, but it's crazy. I'm in my Uber and I'm talking to the, the Uber driver and she's like telling me about this guy who keeps randomly FaceTiming her from the shower. She has no idea who he is, but he calls her every night from the shower and like exposes himself and i was like what the heck so we're talking about it and all of a sudden i start trying to look up his number to figure out who it is for her and whole nine but anyway needless to say 
I got a little distracted <laughs> and didn't vlog on the way home, but it wasn't that exciting. I made it. V is being so kind. She's literally having me stay in the master bedroom. Like, look at this bathroom. There's literally a bathtub, two sinks. Like, she's so, so nice. But anyway, I'm just getting ready for work right now. It's gonna be my first time back in the office in a minute, girl. Um, my friend and coworker Lori May is picking me up and we're gonna go get Krispy Kremes, the office. I'm gonna pick some up. I was gonna rent a car, but it's like, I'm literally only here for a day. So I'm gonna rent a car when I get back. But yeah, we're gonna pick up donuts and then there's so much that I have to do today in prep for the conference tomorrow. I have errands to do, some I'm planning to get done during the day, and then others, V said she'll take me, and I'm gonna treat her to dinner. So I told her to pick a place. But yeah, I literally, tomorrow at this time, I will be on a plane to Miami. <gasps> so, there's that. <laughs> I also have a ton of packages, mostly Halloween costume stuff that I've been ordering here to V's house. She had like a pile going for me. So I don't know, I kind of want to show you guys what I've got, but at the same time, I feel like I'll be, I'll be revealing my Halloween costumes, which I guess is not a big deal, right? Like you're going to see them anyway. They're not these crazy original ideas <laughs> and they're going to look different when I have them all on and dressed up with makeup. So maybe I will do a little Halloween haul later let me know if you want to see that or don't i'll probably do it anyway <laughs> girl our plane last night i don't know if i i don't think i said it but literally got so delayed we were pulling out of our gate and i guess a light went off for one of the engines and so we had to pull back in the gate and an hour they were doing like an hour the way i just got so much powder in my eye they had to do like an hour of testing and fixing and all this stuff. And so we were an hour delayed, but honestly at that point I was just like, I'm in the US, you know what I mean? Flights to Vegas are not few and far between. Flights to the States from Guatemala, harder story. So once I was in the US, I was just grateful. But yeah, I, I can't believe I went to secondary. I feel like yesterday was such a blur. Like so, so much happened. I spent 12 hours no, 11 hours in the airport. I got there at one and I left at 12. Is that not insane? Technically we didn't take off till closer to one, but we boarded at 12, but isn't that crazy? I think that might be the longest I've literally ever spent in an airport. I'm just so grateful that I had the, those lounge, that lounge access because like the Wi-Fi in the Guatemala, La Aurora, our Aurora, I don't remember the name of the airport, but the Wi-Fi in there is like not, it, it says free, but it's not like, it doesn't work that good. And then um, you can sign up for like an hour of good Wi-Fi, but I, bitch, I was there for 11 hours. So <laughs> I was so grateful for the lounge, lounges, both lounges for that good Wi-Fi. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna stop finish getting ready and I'll check back in we have the motherfucking donuts and I'm with Lori May. Okay, I'm gonna open this package that my mom sent to me. It's one of the tons of packages that, oh, oh my God. Look what V left for me, like a whole coffee setup. I'm crying. She's literally the sweetest. Um. Oh my God, she left out bread and stuff. I'm gonna cry. Anyway, I only have a few minutes before Lori Mae gets here. I'm trying to be quiet because V is still sleeping, but I want to show you guys what my mom sent. She sent some like essential stuff, but she also sent some fun stuff. So, you know, I'm trying to figure out whatever. I see some extra shit in here, so I'm like, I need to show y'all. My mom always goes above and beyond. Butterscotch scoop Snickers. Bunch of banana candy corn. 
I love candy corn. I haven't had any candy corn this season. Oh my god. Yum. Turo K Cats. Yum. Halloween. She found, I mentioned another vlog. She found me the next Dan Brown book. Angels and Demons, I've been on a hunt. I'm in the middle of the book I bought in Antigua right now, but girl, I'm literally in the middle of it. So I'll be on to that one soon. Oh my God, little Halloween Reese's. If I wasn't gonna go get donuts right now, I'd for sure eat some of this. Peeps, if you don't like peeps, you're weird. What? Like what? It's like I didn't even need to go to the city. Oh, happy Halloween, Lorea. So cute. So much candy in here. Holy shit. Oh, and then she sent me. I'm getting annoyed with this. She sent me some stuff that I ordered to the wrong house. <laughs> Stop. I literally need toothpaste. Is this under three ounces? It is. Oh my god, I can take it. Let's go. I think this is like a Halloween decoration. My hairbrushes, I asked her to pack me. Bless. Oh my god, makeup wipes. Oh my god. Extra contacts. Oh, these are glasses. Oh my god, I'm not even gonna wrap these. I asked her to pack me glasses. Some glasses that I wanted. Oh, okay, so this is another thing that I ordered. Sprite flavored Tic Tacs? What the fuck? Yum. It's okay. Yum. And then um, these are keys to the storage unit for my job. That was like the whole reason for this package. It just like, <laughs> then I started thinking of things like, oh, can you also pack my brush? Oh, can you also pack me extra contacts? But a lot of this she just sent and it's just extra. These look so, so good. It works out that I'm staying at a friend's house because I can share them, share all this stuff with them because this is a lot. I'm gonna see if I can find like a little bowl or something to throw it all in. And then Lori Mae will be here soon. So yeah, oh my God, I'm so excited. Half of this stuff I've never tried before. Like Sprite Tic Tacs, what? I'm standing in the middle of the street. <laughs> um, but you guys, last time, last year around this time, around Halloween, I remember it being freezing. Like we were freezing our asses off in our costumes. I looked up the weather. It's gonna be over 90 today in Vegas. We're still a couple weeks away from Halloween, but girl, I feel like it was colder around this time last year. I'm not complaining though. Like the weather in Guatemala was beautiful, but it rained every day. And when it rained, it got really cold. And so to just know that it's gonna be consistent sunshine today is just making everything that I have to do today way less stressful. I... I'm here for it. Lori Mae is going to be here in about five minutes. And girl, we got a jam-packed day. I'm about to get some. I'm feeling good. It's crazy what the sun does to you. Like, I am such a sunshine girly. Like, ooh, just the sun hitting my face right now. And being, like, in my old stomping grounds. I'm, like, I'm feeling capable, babe. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Still stressed. Still a lot to do. But... The way the weather just has a grip on my mental health is crazy. Like. <laughs>
I'm so excited. I was kind of worried they weren't going to have them. They're so cute. Oh my god. I want to go over there and just grab all of them. Oh, they stick out? They stick up? This is so cute. Look. We got the box. Let's go. Okay. And we want the extra pumpkin spice donut because. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know what this and I got this. Diabetes pending. Anyway. <laughs> I got the caramel vanilla. He put chocolate syrup on top. The man was grinding. He was literally grinding so hard on this coffee. <laughs> I was like, it doesn't even come with chocolate syrup. He's like delicately putting it on there, but it's so good and sweet. Oh my goodness. And he was definitely putting your whipped cream like berries. He was like <laughs> meticulously. <laughs> like. That was probably his first drink that he ever made. It looked like it. It took him, we literally switched what donuts we got, like changed because we wanted the box and you had to get like three of each Scooby Doo kind. Yes. So we literally changed our donuts, let the people in front of us check out. We go to get ringed up. We're literally ringed up and everything, like gave me my receipt and everything. And he finishes my coffee. I'm like, <laughs> he was working on that coffee for like five minutes. He was, he was so dedicated. Oh my God, <laughs> shout out, love him. <laughs> oh, Cheers. 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 Taste test, pumpkin spice. With the lantern. What thrift store? Buffalo Exchange. Oh. Have you been there yet? Yeah, um, I think we have one in San Diego actually. Oh, you should have the one in San Diego. I'm vlogging this by the way. <laughs> We're at dinner! Soju time. Colored Adidas. Why don't you just wear that? I don't know if it's gonna go. <laughs> Dude, you could Okay, I'm gonna end this video here because it was a shit show after this, heading to Miami. You're gonna have to stay posted for all that. Um yeah, obviously I look busted right now. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.